How's it going? So, on today's episode, you know, I'm still really upset I never got to be part of Supernatural. That's fucked up. It's okay. I'll cry later. Um, why am I wearing these lovely little things? Because I was on my phone. They're blue light blocking glasses. Um, but, yeah. I, I don't even know how to introduce this because... <sighs> so, like I said, um, if you saw a couple videos back that I was going to start discussing different topics for the month of February. February, February. <laughs> Can't say it. Um, yeah, different topics. Um, some of the things that I had mentioned was Twin Flames, Soulmates, Divine Counterparts, yada, 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 and what all of that means, Karmic Partners, Paul Shebang. Again, I don't know how to like not look at m me on there and like just look at the camera it's weird I'm weird my brain is like it's there it's there it's there it's there <laughs> also not wearing my headphones I have no idea how this is going to sound to be very honest hopefully it sounds well hopefully I know how to project sufficiently without Karen stomping on my ceiling because apparently we make her for a rumble and shake. Sorry. <laughs> Not like we're bitter about that or anything. But, yeah, so today's topic of conversation is the twin flame. Now, this lovely makeup look, you probably already saw in the video prior to this. Um, but I am going to start off reading something I wrote. I didn't even know it was a twin flame piece that I was writing until I <laughs> I wrote it and then I was like, hmm. And I started digging more into like twin flames because like so I am in a twin flame situation. I have been for some time and it's quite quite annoying aggravates the fuck out of me but all that aside um <laughs> it uh i don't even know <laughs> so i wrote this piece and i somewhat discussed like the stages in it without realizing that i was doing that um when i started researching twin flames and what it means and the different stages did a lot of introspection first off secondly it also oh you guys like my shirt <laughs> the ghoul boys <laughs> <laughs> love them <laughs> um also random thought i just had of puppet history was up i don't gonna watch it but they ever see this um can y'all interview me on watcher yay <laughs> i'm just being real crazy right now it is late again what time is it it is oh it's 12 30 it's an hour earlier than last time this is why i survive off caffeine and glitter but <laughs> twin flames Oof. I should read this first because I feel like it'll be a very, like, it'll be easier, so to speak, to understand the dynamic and everything that I'm going to be talking about as far as, like, twin flames and the stages and blah, 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 and what a twin flame even is and, like, the definition of it and all that. So, <sighs> yeah, okay, well, this is the piece I wrote. So the following piece is titled Outcome. How do I say the words that are burning within me? 
When the uncertainty stains me in madness, if you even so much as bother to turn in my direction. The insanity of this cyclical simplicity drains me repeatedly. Losing myself in its darkness like running to the warmth of a fireplace in the middle of a snowstorm. Funny, isn't it? I still think of you as home. Not that we ever made it there, but just the feeling of you with me is, was what I imagine home would feel like. Tragically longing for what seemed an eternity, the hope reigned that you felt the same serene peace every time you chose to please this magnetic pull that doesn't let us be when we're within the same vicinity. And while you didn't take my virginity, forgiving you came instantly. However, the pain of it lasted what seemed to be endlessly. If you sought out the restitution required for the supposed repentance of your actions, you would see it is frankly far too astronomical to fulfill within this lifetime. My eyes bleed for the sandstorms left behind are the only proof of the tears I refuse to admit I cry. As much as it pains me, I admit I fell for you each and every time in every way you said my name and in every stare that made my heart race. I was swept away in the truth behind your lies. I guess that's why this plight to say goodbye feels repetitive and new each time I try. You make me tarry within a bundle of confusion for your words and your actions don't align. I guess it's up to me again. Just like before. I'll stop wasting time. Mine. And yours. I'll make this permanent. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? I'm still seeking to do you a favor when the truth is, you would never love me, even if I asked it. So yes, goodbye. No matter how much that breaks me for now, I choose me to live with or without you by my side. An option you've chosen to become. From the moment that you chose my love for you was simply your favorite pastime. And we oof. <laughs> So that was outcome. How come that was the outcome? Because, bitch. No. <laughs> so, that was my little piece about twin flames. Um, I know, sad girl shit, right? 
let's break it down, shall we? I don't know why I put this notebook away and acting like I wasn't gonna do this. So, the first part, how do I say the words that are burning within me when the uncertainty stains me in madness? If you even so much as bothered, look in my direction. That has to do with like, y'all know that whole, it was love at first sight sentiment. So Twin Flames feel that. It, not necessarily love at first sight, but like strong, very strong attraction. Like you've known this person your whole life. Like it's a pull, so to speak. And then like cyclical insanity. Um, it losing yourself in the darkness and the sensation of home. Um, longing for what seems to be forever. Again, back to the magnetic pole. There's a part where it says, um, even though you didn't take my virginity, forgiving you came instantly. Soul ties. So, I had a friend a while back. I say a while back, but my days are all a blur. Tell me how... Every time you open yourself up physically to someone, you are essentially making a soul connection with this person. Basically, when you body someone, your soul is also like, oh, body. Um, <laughs> but I shouldn't laugh at that. It's not nice. But basically, you, you create a soul tie, you create a connection with this person, whether you like it or not. Um, not physically, so to speak, because like you, it might be like a one-nighter or whatever, but you, your soul, like a bit of your aura or whatever you want to call it, has been left with said person. And every time someone wounds you after you've been vulnerable with someone because being butt-ass naked in front of someone is the most vulnerable shit you can do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> My brain! I don't know what time it is. Um, oh, it's 1.30. <laughs> 30 we meet again. But it's this whole thing, and then there's also a part where, like, twin flames, the, the idea is that you don't necessarily meet your twin flame every lifetime that you have um so where it's like oh your repentance like it, it's gonna be too astronomical to like fulfill within this lifetime swept away truth behind your lies so huh, you know we're, we're just gonna go into into the into the the big eight <laughs> So, Twin Flames, and I have a little notebook I wrote it all down, Eight Major Sages, I'm not in complete agreeance, I don't completely agree with the entirety of this list because I feel like some of these are either interchangeable or you jump back and forth, that's just my personal opinion, experience, whatever. <laughs> so, eight major stages of a twin flame are yearning for the one, glimpsing of the one, falling in love, the fairy tale relationship, outer turmoil and inner purging, the runner chaser, surrender and dissolution, oneness also known as ego death. Now, yearning for the one, and, and this is like my personal little breakdown of these stages and like what I feel these stages are. Like, that's what we're here to talk about. My opinion on this. <laughs> so y'all are gonna get like my version of like research. Um, You can definitely do your own research if you are in a twin flame situation, run. I'm kidding. I'm only kidding. I promise I'm kidding. Uh, mm -hmm. 
No, um, we are in a twin flame situation. Hit your girl up. We can discuss. We can, we can lose our minds together. Um, meh. No, so, I'm getting ahead of myself. I do that when I'm nervous about things. A lot of tangents. My brain coping mechanism. Working on it. So, a twin flame goes by multiple names. Soulmate is not one of them. Not saying that your twin flame cannot be a soulmate connection. You can have multiple soulmates. You can only have one twin flame. So, there's a saying where it's like, oh, um, soulmates were created because humans were first made. And the, the whole Zeus theory where, like, humans were too powerful, they were, had two hearts, two brains, blah, 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 two sets of everything. He separated them, and then that's why you end up your entire life searching for them, and that's a soulmate. Not quite. It's a twin flame. Um, soulmates, you can have multiple ones. They can be platonic or not. Twin flames, there's only one. And a twin flame is a reflection of yourself. They, they are the yin to your yang. They are also called mirror um, souls. <sighs> Basically, the purpose of a twin flame connection is to help you grow, right? Because again, it goes back to their, they are your mirror. They, in, in like the whole like opposites attract thing, while you may have a lot of similarities, what you will blatantly notice about this person is all the flaws because they are the same flaws that you would see within yourself. But it, it goes back to that whole like dualistic dynamic that it's so much easier to like try and help someone else versus like fixing yourself because now means we gotta face trauma and who wants to do that please do it shadow work super important um well i'm also gonna later episode though i'm gonna discuss like the this this lady on tiktok special goon love her love her love her love her and she did a video of like the negative aspects of spirituality and the whole like people are like oh well you're feeling depressed here's some crystals you're feeling this she's like no like if you need help you need help and i am going to touch upon that subject i'm itchy <laughs> i'm like itchy right now i'm, I'm itching like oh my god his topic is like i'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I might cry. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> so, twin flames. Um, but yeah, they, they are basically, the purpose of a twin flame connection is to help you grow, help you develop as an individual. Um, toxic misconceptions like oh they complete you they're my other half blah 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 again you might not always necessarily be meant to be with your twin flame like there are people that never leave the runner chaser situation and end up moving on and like you know cosmic realignment blah 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 universe is like eh, we'll try this again another lifetime good luck <laughs> can't do this again oh i don't like this i don't like this so The stages are yearning for the one, which for my, my idea of yearning for the one, I personally feel like that's like not when you're like seven and at least, I don't know if guys do this too, but like um, my girls, y'all ever had your little like get togethers and like you planned your wedding and shit when you're like seven, like fuck you know about love and marriage and commitment. <laughs> you didn't know that shit was hard, Disney lied. <laughs> But I consider yearning for the one, the dating stage of your life when you're you're avidly meeting other people and, and 
you're like learning what you like, what you don't like, you know, and you go through this like, oh, it never works out type of shit with anyone because you're looking for something you haven't found yet. Then there's glimpsing of the one where it is anything from like your first interaction with this person, um, you meeting them, you, um, oh, also false twin flames are a thing. It's a thing. The different differentiating is like the toxicity of it. Like, um, with a twin flame, there's always going to be a certain level of like respect versus like with with the karmic um or mm, I, I shouldn't say that because there's also good karmics but you know like karma is whatever you make it essentially but false twin flames is like oh my god it feels like it's perfect and, da -da -da -da, and you, you have all the stages but like with a very like dash of like ooh, toxic also had my false twin flame that was, that was fucked up. A lot of toxic shit. I was also toxic in that. Boy, was I toxic. So you're in for the one dating phase. You're meeting all these new people. You're meeting a bunch of people. You might meet your twin flame. Oh, shit. Almost dropped my camera. You might meet your twin flame during this stage. Okay? You. you it is possible. Um... And then, like, enter glimpsing of the one. That's when, like, you mean, your love at first sight shit. Like I said, it's like, you see them and you're just like, well, who's, who's that person? That one right there. Yo, I want that one. I don't know that one, but I want that one. And, like, not, not like, in a creepy way. <laughs> That's so creepy. Okay, so. So you're walking down the street, right? And you see this gorgeous attractive human being and you're just like damn fine as hell you look so good yes and you're like okay i see you now but you don't actually see anything with this person right you just like you don't feel anything when you meet your twin flame it's intense and you feel something, you feel that pull, that, that magnetic pull I mentioned, you can't, you can't get away from them. And you just, if you're within the same fucking whatever metrics of each other, you want to be near them and around them and you want to touch them and hug them and breathe the air they breathe. It sounds so disgusting. Sounds so bad. Also, I really gotta do my nails. Okay, I got stubs because they broke at work. Stubs. Um, but when when you catch that first glimpse, it really is like, holy fuck, where have you been all my life? Type of shit. And you're just like, no, no, I'm not ready. <laughs> No, I can't meet my match yet. No, right? Because again, you know how they say, oh, in divine timing, blah, blah, blah. Yes and no. So again, the purpose of your twin flame is for growth and in its mutual growth. Like you, you both see each other and you're like, wow, this person is just like me. Oh my God. We have so many similarities, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, you try to fight it because you're like, no. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> but that's that's a whole other stage that I'll get into. <laughs> but glimpsing of the one, then the falling in love, where you're like, yo. I'm going to have babies. <laughs> like, if you don't want children, I mean, that's probably not that crosses your mind but you're just like yo like I can really see myself with this person like like see myself like for real for real with this person and it's it's terrifying because especially if like you're not at that level of maturity yet where like you've done all the shadow work and you've 
face your traumas and you're like not toxic yourself and you're you know which uh, for most twin flames you don't meet your twin flame at a mature level <laughs> you meet them when everything is to shit and you're just like why why porque porque although like i already said it's growth purposes right and amidst the chaos right as is all things toxic you uh you start developing feelings for this person and it is terrifying enter the fairy tale relationship if you make it to this now i don't agree where this falls along the like big eight because like they put it smack dab in the middle i think the whole little fairy tale relationship shit it could either be a honeymoon phase if you actually end up in a relationship with like your twin flame like that would be the honeymoon aspect of it where it's like everything is fucking glitter and rainbows and they shit sparkles type of thing but i need to watch my cursing <laughs> talk like a sailor <laughs> but that whole like <clears throat> disney um type of love we're like oh my god i see them one day and i'm in love blah 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 what if Disney the entire time the reason everything happens in three days besides the fact that like it's three days because that's how long plays used to run and everything but like because they talking about twin flames that's all mates wow theory um <laughs> conspiracy oh I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm delve into that one that's gonna be real interesting especially with frozen <laughs> <laughs> I love Frozen. Um, ooh, Tangled. Ooh. I'm getting real off track. All I need right now, giant floppy hat and a red pea coat. Carmen San Diego. <laughs> Sup, bitches? Anyways. <laughs> Can you see how avoidant I am of this? <laughs> I can't. So. <laughs> fairy tale relationship then outer turmoil and inner purging which is all that shadow work and facing your toxicity and peeling back the layers that's the whole like working on yourself self-love like you've been through all this bullshit twin flame connections also very on and off very on and off wow i really thought i thought that was it sorry had a moment twin flame connections very on and off um but not just on and off as in like oh my god we're together one week we broke up another week that could also kind of be a thing i don't know but enter the like on and off which is the runner chaser situation <laughs> which like i'm so tired of and i'm at the point where i'm like bye bitch but Anywho, so fairy tale relationship, things going great, glitter and rainbows and unicorn and bubbles and kisses and roses and blah 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 blah, right? Utter turmoil and inner purging is about self love. It is about building yourself up. Again, your twin flame's job is not to make you complete. Only you can make you complete. You're not happy by yourself, you ain't gonna be happy with nobody else. However, that is also slightly toxic because you can still grow while you're dating someone. You don't have to completely do it on your own. Growing never stops. Shadow work never stops. I've come to learn and honestly, I'm quite annoyed of it. But outer turmoil and inner purging, that, that, in my opinion, that is the part where, like, the, the period of separation starts. Let me, let me tell you how I think this list goes. Yearning for the one, glimpsing of the one, falling in love, outer turmoil, inner purging. No, sorry. Runner chaser. <laughs> Runner chaser. Um, fairy tale happens somewhere along in the middle if you ever end up with them. Um, outer turmoil, inner purging, 
then surrender and dissolution, and then oneness, which is ego death. My voice is like, uh, <laughs> corpse husband, where you at, boo? Um, <laughs> don't be like you hate me, but uh, uh. <laughs> y'all should go watch my TikTok. Um, <laughs> ain't shit, but. Yeah, so, outer turmoil, inner purging, which, like, I've, I've been in that for a hot minute. I've been doing that, working on myself, working on my health, working on my... What what I tell oh, one of my besties, I was like, they were like, oh, what are you up to? And I was like, you know, working on my health, my wealth, and my... The fuck did I say? My health, my wealth, and my mental stability? Yes or sanity one of those i said something along those lines i can't remember i'll put that on a shirt anybody takes my idea fuck you and your mama like don't take my shit that's not nice anyways <laughs> i'm being ridiculous right now so run your chaser you see my face i don't like that <laughs> so and this is just generally asking anyone everyone y'all get like the flirting stage of like you you see someone you meet them you flirt a little bit back away blah 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 okay now think of that on steroids you meet this person, you get to know this person, you fuck this person, you, um, think of dating this person, then you freak out because you're like, no, I'm not ready for commitment. And then you run. And then they're like, no, but wait, I might want you for commitment. And they run after you, and then boom, again, and then again, and then again, and then again. And then, oi, it's, a, it's, it, it really, you're like, you're like, <laughs> hamster on a fucking wheel runner chaser is essentially that it is that period of like you guys are basically going back and forth like of i want you but no i'm terrified because i haven't dealt with my inner trauma of like whatever the hell happened in my childhood or what happened with my past toxic relationships or like my karmic partner or my false twin flame blah blah blah, blah. So it it is, in my opinion, a, a precursor to that, like, outer turmoil and inner purging. Like, that's why I'm like, I, I think those are flipped, in my opinion. But I'm also like, I already told y'all, I don't know how to look, like, not at the screen. Because, you know, I'm like, giving you too loud. <laughs> but, it, that's my opinion of, like, how that happens and surrender and dissolution is like if y'all end up on like witch dog or y'all watch tarot card pulls and they're like you know in divine timing surrender to the universe surrender and dissolution is not just necessarily surrendering to the universe but also it is that point where like you might have a point of communication with your twin flame of like okay Let's set the fuck down and actually talk this shit through. Now, surrender and dissolution can also happen during runner chaser. It is very, very difficult, not impossible, because nothing's impossible, but it is very difficult for people to reach that like oneness point, right? And that ego death. When I figure out how to kill the ego, I will let y'all know, but it ain't happening yet. I'm runner chaser surrender dis dissolution um <laughs> outer turmoil inner purging i'm in those three so y'all if a hey, if anyone reached ego death can y'all hit me up let me know how you did it because i am about ready to just clearly y'all didn't hear the poem i'm done um but Twin flame connections, very, 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 very intense. Um, again, because they are for personal growth. So all my loves out there in a twin flame connection, 
If you're confused, if it's difficult, like you are not alone. You're not. I'm right there with you. I'm at that point where everything needed to me. <laughs> at the end of the day, nothing matters. So there's that. But nothing matters and it all matters. Oh, the universe. Ain't it beautiful? But yeah, that's that's it. Twin flames. Wild. Do not confuse red flags and toxic patterns or abuse narcissists etc as a twin flame if you are not safe please 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 reach out friends family resources dm me if you must but please okay don't do not stay in a harming situation because you believe the universe has placed this here for you that is not how that works my babies trust me that's not okay more on that on like spiritual toxicity part but yeah that's it that's all i had to say about twin flames um i will dive into the differences of like twin flames and soulmates and how those connect on the next one but yeah we'll see what makeup look i do for that one i might do more glitter i like doing i like glitter i don't like taking the glitter off shit's mad annoying and glitter this morning in places um but yeah those are the eight major steps let and let steps stages <laughs> making it sound like a 12-step program uh, everyone that is in the 12-step program i'm hella proud of y'all y'all quitting your addictions keep pushing babies but comment like share subscribe let me know what stage you're in, what stage you think you're in, if you are successfully with your twin flame. I want to hear those stories. <laughs> Give me hope. <laughs> but then besides that, we will also be touching upon soulmates, karmic partners, divine counterparts, all of that jazz. If I get bold and sassy one day, I might even do a tarot card pull. Who knows? We shall see. But yeah, les mando mucha paz, muchos besos. Y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna. La luna, la luna, I can't word. Sending you much peace, many kisses, and reminding you to always look up at the moon. Don't forget to follow me on all my handles at I am Monroe 3 on IG and at Drizzit's Wifey on Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, um, YouTube. <laughs> and yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!